Keep your head down when you come up with the eight. Just keep your head down. Yeah, I mean, it's not coming up, but it's starting to come up. To make it perfect. It's good, but it's not perfect. What does it take for a real knockout puncher to get the job done? Well, there's a certain kind of knockout punch. There's something, it, being a big man really doesn't matter. It has no significance in knocking out someone. The main point is the quickness and what you throw the punches and that the leverage is what you have in the shoulder snap. Left hook, good night. Missed with that, not with that. I mean, now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson again. Watch the side of Lorenzo Boyd's body. You think the body shots of Tyson, I mean, the body just about collapses in there. It's the tremendous leverage. of a few seconds. That little instructions given by the ref in the early going. Mike gets it up with the right hand and ATN is down. I keep my hands up. I'm moving. I'm trying to get to the side and look for the opening. And I see it. Here it is. Boom. Straight. And the object of really knocking out an individual is throwing a punch where he can't see. Put it pivot. Swing around and your opponent's side and then crack. As you know, I made the move and I caught him. I tried to catch him again. Then I caught him off the top of the head again. Then there's another one. The Jets glance and really didn't hit him as hard. I want this combination punches. And when you throw punches and you, and you keep his mind preoccupied with the body punches and the, the other two pet punches that come to the head are the knockout punches. And a left hand and that's Stagger Thomas. And a right hand behind it. Thomas in trouble again. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. Oh, quick combination of that head. Uppercut and Morris is hurt. Razor is down. There it was. Just clipped him right on the chin. The left was unnecessary. Marvis is badly hurt at this point. Uppercut again. And there, Marvis is out on his feet. Everything after this is just incidental. And then again, there's one punch knockout punches, which they throw one punch to the body, boom, boom, and then the other punch to the head, which again, the opponent's mind is so preoccupied on the one punch, which rattles him just a little bit, and that's when the other punch comes in. Can't get all punches. Oh, it's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. He watched both of come in and what he sees. Mike steps into him, bang. He turned his whole body, his hip, his legs. A TKO defeat, not a decision. Was in trouble in both the first and tenth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. He's doing damage. Michael Spence has to keep moving because every shot has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down. And here we have another angle. And that beautiful right uppercut caught him perfectly. Oh, goodness, we want a right hand there from Tyson. More movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. We watch, as we watch this again, and there is the punch, a high punch on the forehead. Now, what I see in what you're saying is, is one, getting the shoulder in. A lot of fighters are, are arm punches. And secondly, the quickness so that the opponent doesn't see the punch and that that's what knocks him out. He's not prepared for it. Absolutely.